Welcome to CG Chameleon. Hello and welcome to CG Chameleon. I want to answer the famous question. Do I need to learn programming or scripting using Python, JavaScript, C++, whatever to do rigging? Uh, the, the shortest answer is no, but yes. What do I mean? No or yes? I will just try to explain this quickly under five minutes so you will understand what do I mean. The rigging process takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of repetitive tasks, which means if you do the right hand of a character, you will be doing the left hand, of course. But let's assume that the right hand will take you about four hours to complete. Let's say this is a complex one and the scanning takes time. So let's say four hours. So when you will be doing the left arm or the, the mirrored arm, you should take half of the time if you do some scripting. So the first one will take four. The, the left arm or the other arm will take less, maybe half of the time. You see? So scripting will help you will help you work efficient efficiently and quickly. So in this example here that uh, we create uh, let's imagine those are controllers left side and the right side of course and we do some modification on one of the side. So we want now to copy all the attributes to the other side. If you do them manually, you can see if you have like uh, 12 or 15 controllers here. Let's imagine the eyes are bro. So it's going to take time, a lot of time, are uh, going to be wasted just to do the manual stuff. But we can create a simple script here. Just you click one, one click and you can see the the other side is mirror the same thing uh, I'm doing the same demonstration you can see just one click I have based my script on the naming system so it depends on the desire you want to achieve so the question that you should be asking if the Python script or the scripting is used only to work faster or to work in efficient way. So if we do this for, for this example, we copy all the values manually, uh, we can do it? Of course you can. So if you ask me if you can do a rigging from start to finish without the need to use coding, is it possible? Yes, of course it is possible. But let me show you one thing here before we wrap this thing up. So it will make you understand better. Let's just go here and open the node editor okay so the node editor you can't do rigging without the node editor that's a given of course if you have done a sample rigging you may be uh, you have seen the node editor let's get multiply for example multiply divide node the famous one okay so we are getting a famous a famous one here if you see you can see here this is the famous it just if we go and open the attribute, you can see we have three values, three values here. So X, Y, uh, Z, uh, H, anything. So two values and you do some operation here. So it's the same as saying, for example, this one is five multiplied by two. So five multiplied by two. The result is 10. So we are getting here an operation. So you, if you are using the node editor, you are coding visually. So that's it. That's the question. That's the answer to your question. If you are doing the node editor, you are coding visually without the need to write code manually. So this, so in fact, if you are rigging, so the node editor is 90% used only with rigging. So if you come here, it means you are going to do some logic. 
you can see it logic but if you are programming you will see it like programming so it is the, the same as writing like x equal 5 y equal uh, let's say 2 and the result and the result would be like uh, uh, let's say c equal uh, y x y so this is the same thing and you get the result here so this is our result let's make it this is c so if we come here let's, uh, let's now if you print c for example you can see the result is then the same here if we need uh, let's uh, let's uh, get another uh, another one so just to see let's the output here you can see this is 10 so you are like doing this is the simplest node here but if you go like for condition for condition you can see this is this is exactly scripting you have here a term let's say x you have here uh, a second term let's say y and you have the, and here the operation you are the, doing a comparison between the two values and if let, let's do it let's do a simple one so this is we are getting 10 here let's do let's uh, say like uh, 5 divided by 2 okay and let's uh, okay come on let's get this one to second input and this one let's make it to first input let's see so i'm uh, getting from this one a 10 and from here is two half and you can see you can do whatever you want if two the first term equal the second term is equal here it means it is true so this result will be sent let's say five will i be sending a result here it doesn't it doesn't do anything it will just send a true or false but you can send a value let's send 10 is 10 equal so it is not so it will be sending like zero here. it is false so let's do just another one just to visualize it it doesn't mean anything we are doing let's create this now to visualize let's bring and let's get the output to x you can see it is zero we are sending this one it is zero but if you say if the first term is uh, greater than it means it is true so 10 will be sent here to x1 and you can see 10 is received so here you are doing programming visually so that is what so if you want to make your play if you want to get a place in the industry uh, you cannot as i mean in rigging you cannot avoid scripting and scripting isn't difficult it just takes time to like it's like learning a new language so you need some time to grasp or the, the language in your brain. I wish this was helpful for you. Uh, wish you the best of luck and good luck.